What's up guys? Justin here with the SketchUpEssentials.com. So I've been going a little more in depth on Medique Wall and I wanted to show you some of the really cool features I've uncovered that I don't think a lot of people know about. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so we've talked about Medique Wall before. It's a very in-depth, smart framing and wall creation tool for SketchUp. It has so many different features in it. Um, it's a little bit overwhelming if I'm being honest, but I mean, it has the ability to do a ton of different things um, from generating walls with framing to walls that are ready for uh, walls that are ready for layout, other things like that. I will link to it on this page. Note that is an affiliate link, meaning if you did, do purchase through that link, I do receive a commission. But now let's jump over into SketchUp and take a look at some of the secrets of Medik over into SketchUp. And so the first thing we're going to do is let's just create a wall. So we're just going to create a simple wall like this. And remember that there's a ton of drop downs in here. Take a minute to actually like go through these because there's actually like so many things in here. But for now, let's just create like a simple wall. So I'm going to draw across here. And so we're just going to create a simple wall like this. All right, so one of the first things is if you pick up this corner right here, like this, this is a smart tool. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna go in here and it's going to find that corner and it's gonna close this in. Now, that's not necessarily like a huge feature, but it is something that um, can be kind of a big deal because you do want this to be all the way closed in. But what we've done, right, is we've created a number of different wall assemblies in here. Now, one of the first things that I did not realize is that you can actually add doors and windows directly inside of this tool when you create openings. So if I click in here, right, I've always come in here and I've just clicked on an opening and created the opening. And I'm like, oh, that's cool. You can adjust like the door width, right? So say you had like a double door or something like that, um, you could create those different openings in the wall, no big deal. All right, and so if you scroll down, you click on the option for advanced door options in here and you pick a door. So there's a ton of different doors in here, but say we were to pick this uh, six panel door right here and then you were to update this and then click on the surface, this is actually going to model out the door for you. And this is like a fully framed in door. I didn't actually realize that this had doors in the library. Um, I just thought that you could create the opening and then you had to add the door yourself. And there's a ton of different doors in here. There's like a full glass door. And again, no, you need to click on the update button in order to get this to show up. But there's like a full glass door in here. Um, you can adjust swings. There's like sliding glass doors, pocket doors, like all that stuff is built into this tool, which I did not actually realize. So if you look at this pocket door, for example, say we were to take a section cut across the top here, this is actually going to show up as if it's a pocket door um, in the real world. So if we go to parallel projection right here, notice how it labels this and it's actually framed this out like a pocket door um, in the real world. That's crazy. Um, I didn't actually realize that was a thing. So maybe shame on me for not paying attention, but there's a ton of options in here. And say you wanted to edit this opening, there's an option. There's an option for edit opening under Medique wall tools. If I click on this, I can go back in here and I can adjust this after the fact. So you're not just like stuck. You can go in and you can add doors update this and this is going to actually adjust this door right here and say that we want this thing to be wider right so we want this to be a 72 inch by 80 inch if i update this this is going to update in the wall it's going to update the framing for the door and it's going to adjust the casing so that this fits properly inside of your wall not only that we also have the same ability with windows. So if I click in here like this, right, before I've always been creating the window opening, if you go to advanced window options, scroll down, there's actually a bunch of different windows built into this tool right here. So you can have like shutters, you can have sliding windows. There are just a ton of different windows in here. And if you ever do want to adjust them, right? So say that we wanted to adjust this window right here, you can just use the edit tool, come back in and adjust this. And we're going to change this so that it doesn't have shutters. For example, we're going to say no on shutters, update it. It's going to remove the shutters. So I had absolutely no clue whatsoever that this was actually in here, which maybe I'm not paying attention, but super excited to see these functions in here. Okay, so next up, and we're just gonna keep using this example model right here, but next up, you have the ability to actually include things like um, things like trim 
on your siding. So we're going to take this wall and remember these walls are all editable, right? So if I take this wall and we just want to adjust it, so we're going to go to edit wall right here. And I go into the drop downs. Notice how there's an option down below where you can adjust the wall cladding material. But say we wanted to change the cladding material of this wall piece right here, we're going to update it, right? So no big deal. We'll talk about how to change multiple walls in a second, by the way. Um, but in this situation, I also want to add trim. Well, in the advanced options, there's actually options in here to add trim to the wall. So if I say yes, I can set this to put the trim either on the sheathing or on the cladding. I can set the thickness, I can add outside corner trim, and it's going to add all of that automatically inside of my model. So I can use this to actually add trim. I can set if I have a wainscot or not. So if you want wainscot framing, you can put this in here. If you don't, you can turn that off. So we're gonna say no on this band board right here, but you can use this in order to quickly apply um, the corner trim and the trim in this model. Not only that, um, you can also, and I've always struggled with this. I didn't actually realize how you could do this. Um, I've always struggled with this in the past because I'm like, okay, great, I can change one wall, right? You can right click on it. You can go to edit wall assembly and you can adjust say like the height. So let's say we wanted this to be 120 inches. You could update this. Well, that's fine, except it's just this one wall, right? Well, the way that you can adjust multiple walls is within the Medeek wall tools. There's an option in here to click on copy wall. And so the way this works is you just sample a wall right here. You can pick what you wanna update. So say I wanted to adjust just my wall height right here. And let's say I wanted to change my cladding as well. So we're gonna go down into cladding and we're gonna adjust the cladding material and also the trim. So we're going to adjust this so that the trim is a yes we'll adjust all of these different things associated with the trim right here. So we'll go ahead and check a bunch of these, but now this tool is active. Well, all I have to do is go through and click on these walls in order to get them to adjust. So this is gonna adjust multiple different walls in here. And all you have to do, cause I was always trying to click on the update button and it wasn't doing anything. So if I just click on the walls right here, it's going to adjust the settings that we've applied to these walls in here. So you can use this to adjust existing walls. So it's really fast to change the heights and other things like that. Now, one of the other things that's built in here, and this is a feature that completely flew under my radar, is you can also include 3D cladding on here. So right now, right, what this wall is, is it's a surface and it's got trim around it. But if we want to adjust that, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to use this, uh, this Medeek wall, copy wall. I'm gonna select this one and I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna set this so that we don't currently have the trim, right? I'm gonna turn the trim off on this object. So I'm gonna say no right here so that we've just got a simple wall. I'm gonna do the same thing over here. But now if I was to take this wall and scroll down and adjust that wall cladding material. So if I click in here to the wall cladding material, if you go down to the bottom, there's options in here, these ones that have the measurements in them. So like battens, if I update this wall assembly in here, notice how I can click on these others and do the same thing. This will actually add batten siding to your walls right here. But this tool is still cutting through those battens and creating those openings. Now, I think there's probably some adjustments you'd have to make here to your door casing, because it's not quite doing that the way that I would like for it to do that. But you can still use this in order to create different kinds of 3D cladding. And so say you don't want the battens, there's also a shiplap in here. So if I take this object, notice how I can use this in order to create shiplap siding on the outside of my model. If I don't like the shiplap, there's also an option here for logs, lap, and then metal. Let's do the metal. So I'm gonna click in here to add metal. This is actually going to add metal siding to this object. And you can adjust the different widths in here. So you can adjust things like the gap and the vertical offsets and things like that in order to adjust the size of this. And he links to a video on his website where he talks about this a little bit more, but um, this is super powerful. Now there are some things that can get a little bit funky on it, 
So this one right here, for whatever reason, this wall doesn't really like that cladding. So, but if I clicked on it again, it brings it right in here. Again, you'd have to make some adjustments to this trim right here. I'd probably cheat and just make the trim a little bit thicker. Um, there's probably a better way to do that, but you can use this to add different 3D siding types to your models in Medequal as well. And so another thing for all my commercial estimators out there is you can also change the stud type to metal. So. If I was to pick a wall, so we're just gonna pick this wall right here using this edit tool, and you scroll in here, notice how there is an option under wall framing material right here. You can adjust this to steel. So if I click on update and then click on this wall, this is gonna make these steel studs rather than wood studs. So you can adjust this so that this is more commercial level framing in here, just like this, um, if you want this to be more of a commercial building. So I did wanna note we've also got garage doors in here. So we can pick like a raised panel right here. And this is going to add this garage door in here like this. And we'll go ahead and we'll change this back to something that doesn't have that cladding on it right here. But notice how you can use this in order to create garage doors in your models as well. All right, so I'd love to hear from you. How many of these things did you know about? Did you know Medequal could do all this stuff? Because I definitely did not. Um, I will link to it on this page. That is an affiliate link. But if you are looking for something that does like the smart framing and that kind of thing, this could be a good fit. So leave a comment below and let me know what you thought. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. And I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.